just shut her down, parked her on the grass. walking into the front, the cockpit of the Betsy's Biscuit Bomber. There's a little navigation station here, and here. There we go, here's the hamburger door with the jump seat right there. Looks pretty standard, DC3 cockpit. Normal seats. This one flew to Normandy. So some of the crew here at the field on Stearman, they were part of that team that went to Normandy. Betsy is owned and operated by the Gooniburg Group, LLC. And Betsy is one of the lowest flight time and most authentic World War II Skytrains in airworthy condition with uh, less than 10,000 hours, which is amazing and quite a history. Uh, it's got the original World War II um, interior configuration. Betsy makes her trek out to Stearman before and after Air Venture. So a lot of us today are fans and supporters of Betsy, and we're going to take a little a short uh, flight around the patch today. So join us for that. I hope to get some good video and maybe some interviews with the crew.
All right, so here I am at Stearman Field with, uh, you want me to call you Sherman or you want me to call you Sherm? Sherm's fine. Sherm. Sherm Smoot. I'm uh, very happy to have met Sherm Smoot. Uh, invited me to fly in Betsy's Biscuit Bomber. That's always it. get that confused. C-47 that visits here at Stearman uh, before going to Oshkosh. So I was invited for the flight and somehow I got to the right seat with Sherm Smoot which I'm very um, proud to have done that and happy that I got on that flight. So it was a wonderful thing. There are a lot of uh, admirers and donors here that appreciate and um, donate for Betsy's Biscuit Balmer. And uh, it's an annual trek to and from Air Venture. So keep that in mind for next year when you want to come see uh, the C-47. And here at Stearman, it's always a good time. So Sean? How was your trip? Fantastic. We had a great time. We, you know, this is our second home here at Sturman Field. Um, 2019, we flew in here uh, to pick up Hector and uh, Nick, who are, Hector is one of our lead mechanics, and he's also uh, got an ATP in, in the DC-3. We landed here at Sturman Field, picked him up, and uh, the people here, um, it's like our second home. I mean, you guys... Uh, they just uh, took us under their wing, and we couldn't buy anything. <laughs> they had free places to stay. They bought us dinner. They pretty much paid for our gas. They did everything here at home. That's so good. Really we support here. Betsy. We support Betsy and the crew, and Hector and Nick, they're locals, and we support them too. We're very uh, proud of them and excited for them to be involved in this crew. So. You are really kind of a celebrity. I did not, I have never met you. I'm proud to have flown with you. Signed my logbook. That's kind of like celebrity status. So I'm just a pilot. <laughs> You're a pilot, but I've read your bio. You were in the Navy for the F 4, 28 years with Continental as a captain, and now you are a Yak 11 modified or. Well, you know, I, 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 I raced the Yak-11, and, okay. but now I'm racing Sea Furies, and I've yeah. raced Mustangs, and I'm just lucky yeah. guy. Lucky guy. You know, <laughs> lucky I, guy. I have a winery. I have a small winery in California. And <laughs> that gets my attention. But you know how pilots are, you know. <laughs> that so gets anyway, my attention. Um, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Yes. What can I say? Well, you have a great crew, and we're happy to have you here at Stearman, and looking forward to next year. So we appreciate you. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm here with another crew member from Betsy's Bis Biscuit Balmer. I always mash that up. Biscuit Balmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Hector Camacho. Hector is a local here to Stearman Field, and I mentioned him in one of my other interviews. And he is a pilot as well as a mechanic for Betsy. And Hector also has a son that's a pilot, Nick Camacho. And unfortunately, Nick is hard at work and cannot be with us today. Uh, possibly we can uh, get him on another interview. I did get footage of him, though, flying Betsy. So you'll see that in the video. But Hector, thank you so much for taking time to stop by and talk to me. OK, just glad to, uh, <laughs> to talk. A little bit of bio on you. Um, you you have quite a bio too. Of course, when I'm talking to these pilots, uh, it gets very interesting when I look back and I see old images. And you've got an <laughs> Air Force career, a commercial airline career, as uh, well as uh, certificates. You've got your commercial CFI and a DC-3 type rating, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And you also have a few other things going on. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, in it all started in 1960 when I uh, got out of high school, went into the Air Force, and was uh, for four years uh, a radial engine mechanic. That's where I uh, get my radial engine experience, and uh, that's why I uh, worked on these uh, C-47s and DC-3s over the years. Came out to Kansas to work for a Beach Aircraft when Mrs. Beach was head of the, uh, the company, which really? was really, really nice. Interesting. And um, retired from uh, Beach in uh, 2007, uh, as well as some stints in uh, flight safety. Uh, my primary job was a King Air instructor, maintenance instructor, and a tech support. And uh, since then, since my retirement, I've uh, 
been building tow bars for um, for Stearman's and T6s, and that's what keeps me busy nowadays. In addition to uh, uh, helping the guys in California with uh, Betsy's Biscuit Bobber. So what brought you to Betsy? I mean, it's got to be a long line of, I know you're interested in radials, but... <laughs> Well, it, it, in Betsy, uh, it happens that uh, in about 2004, found out that by accident there was a museum there in Paso Robles, California, and uh, and I had known the chief pilot as an instructor back in the 70s, so I got involved with them. Uh, was that still Sherm? Sherm's yes. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. yep. That is so yep. interesting. And uh, the highlight of all of this, uh, I can say with uh, lots of assurances. When we took Betsy Smith's bomber in uh, 2019 to back to Europe, remember this airplane that was in Europe in 1944 and 45, we took it back in uh, 2019 all the way back, northern route, uh, to uh, the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings for Michigan, always stopping here at Benton because this is our, uh, our airplane's second home. And then 2019, uh, This year, so this is the fourth time we've come through here. Always stopping here at, at Stearman Field, uh, here at Benton, uh, because of the, the tremendous hospitality the community gives mm -hmm. to this airplane. They do, they really do, and we all love to see these. And we've got such a unique group of pilots and ambassadors to not only Betsy but uh, all aviation. And it has a restaurant that's right by the uh, ramp area where Betsy parks <laughs> and so people are so surprised that you know the town folk you know not us airport people <laughs> yeah. they come out and they see it and they're like what is that what can we go look at it and you can actually go in the plane and be up close and uh, the uh, donor flights you can do a donor flight well, they, you know, uh, we're a 501 c3 um, and uh, we'll keep this airplane going I'm going to include some verbiage in my description that can, if you're interested, and we'll put dates and uh, times when you can come and see Betsy next year. It's not too soon to start planning that now. That's correct. And uh, give you a little bit of an idea of, of how you too can support Betsy and possibly come and get on a flight and meet the crew. They're quite a crew and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of fun. But Hector, thank you so much for, I know you're busy. Thank okay. you for taking time it's out of a, your it's schedule. A, it's a and pleasure. Thank coming you very down here. Well, thank you very much for, for giving Betsy a little bit uh, uh, spotlight. <laughs> Absolutely, no problem. Thank you for watching.